Good day everybody. Welcome to the quick video on the client setup screen. So we've gone and made a few changes to the client setup screen. A few of the basic things we've done is we've just moved around a few of the settings. So it's still in the same location. But you'll see as I started up already, we start with a section called quick settings. Now what we've tried to do here is we've tried to actually consolidate all of the different settings that are the most vital settings in your financials and we've put them all into the quick settings screen. So the section here is we're trying to make it as, as easy as possible for you to just fill in almost what's required, not waste a lot of time searching through a lot of settings trying to find what you're looking for. So your quick settings is the most important settings, things like your entity name, you know, registration number, date of signature, these are the kind of things that you have to have and have to show on your financial statements. So we've put them here all into one section to kind of find them quickly and easily without having to scroll through the whole long list of settings and, and find what you're looking for. We then have, same as before, our secretarial info. This is our directors and shareholders, as well as the secretary's address. So that's very similar to before. Financial years, you'll also see very similar to before. We have just moved our management accounts button into this section as well. So if you're doing management accounts, you can click it like normal and change your override dates. So the additional disclosures is everything else in terms of the settings that don't belong in the quick settings, but we've kind of pulled them in here and this is where all the other things sit. So this is stuff like, you know, your VAT number, your pay as you earn number. These items aren't vital to your financials. Um, but you can have them on the financials if you want to. Moving down, we then have a few things that you are familiar with. That's your contact info and firm details. Those are two of your standard ones. And then what we've done is our last section here is a financial statements customization section. And what we used to have here is essentially we had a section called annual financial statements and we just had a long list of settings. And here we try to break them up just to try and explain a little bit better what they do. So the first section is a layout customization. And these are items that change the whole layout of your financials. They have a little bit of a bigger impact on the financial statements. These are things like, you know, your accounting policies. Do you want them separate or part of the notes? Um, and a few other items like that, that, that have a bigger impact on the financials. Then we've got a visual customization section. These are settings and options that you have in place purely for the visual aesthetics of the financials. So things like capitalizing your headers or inverting your uh, debits to show as positive on the detailed income statements. This last section is a section called naming convention. And this is essentially all the wording that pulls into your reports in most of the cases. So things like your applicable acts um, for this entity, um, things like the management and the owners, you know, are they directors, shareholders? Maybe you're working with a trust, then your management would now be trustees and the owners would be beneficiaries. So you can change those things here. And um, that is essentially our naming convention section. That is our new layout for the client setup. We do hope it makes things easier to find we do understand it might be confusing for some people in the start. We've tried to make it as simple as possible. Please let us know if you need any help. And if you do have any feedback, please do let us know. We always appreciate it. Yeah, so thanks so much for your time. And I hope you have a fantastic day further. Goodbye.